Hi. I've got another book for you guys. It's called Bunny Mail. Hmm. Here's a picture of all sorts of stamps that would go on letters. Bunny Mail. Is that a man? And the book is by Rosemary Wells. I'm wearing my special 4th of July dress, Max, said Max's sister, Ruby. Just then, pop, 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 Wilma Warthog rode by on her brand new red span, fan spitter motorcycle with big foot tires. <gasps> Max wanted one. I think here's a picture of that Warthog on her bike. Max looks at that and he wants one too. Picnic invitation goes to all my dollies and grandma, says Ruby. Max wanted to write a letter to Santa asking for a bright, bright red sand spitter motorcycle with big foot tires instead. You're getting tire prints on the letter paper, Max, said Ruby. Max put his letter to Santa in the envelope. He addressed it to the North Pole and put it in the mailbox. Nobody writes to Santa in the summer, Max, says Ruby. The mailman has trouble reading Santa's address. Dollars to donuts? This letter should go to Grandma, he says. The mailman put Ruby's invitation and Max's letter to Santa in Grandma's mailbox. Grandma opened Ruby's invitation. Hooray, said Grandma. I love picnics. Then she opened Max's letter. It's a tire print letter, said Grandma. I will send yes I can note to Ruby and a bulldozer letter back to Max. So there's the two letters. Here's the one to Grandma. Fourth of July picnic invitation. And here's the one for Max. Tire tracks. And there's Grandma. She's going to respond. You got mail, Max, said Ruby. Santa, said Max. No, Max, said Ruby. Santa doesn't answer mail. He just gets mail. So Max opened his letter. He knew it must be Santa about his sand spitter motorcycle with big foot tires. Max did not know why Santa thought he wanted a bulldozer. And Max wrote back right away about the bright red motorcycle. So here's Max's letter. And she thinks he wants a, mo a bulldozer. Another mystery letter, says the mailman. There is Max's letter to Grandma, or to Santa. It's got a stamp on there, and there it is. A bright red letter, says Grandma. Grandma wrote a red airplane letter and mailed it right back to Max. And there's the postman taking it back. New letter. 
Max waited at the mailbox. Some of the picnic guests have arrived, Max, said Ruby. They need to be entertained. But Max knew Santa would send him another letter. Don't hold your breath, Max, said Ruby. Santa is taking summer vacation at the South Pole. All the same, the mailman came. He brought three Yes I Can letters from, from Ruby's dollies and another letter for Max. Max opened his letter. And it looks like a red airplane from Grandma or Max did not know why Santa thought he wanted an airplane. Something was wrong. Santa did not understand about the bright red sand spitter motorcycle with Bigfoot tires. That was because Max had left out the most important part. So Max wrote a new letter to Santa. No one will ever read it, Max, said Ruby. Grandma opened Max's letters. She could not tell, make heads or tails out of it. Just then someone went pup, pup, pup up the street. My goodness, said Grandma, Max's letter is as clear as day. So here's the letter. Yeah, it's red and tire tracks. And then right as she is opening that letter, she sees this. Pup, 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 pup. Grandma picked up the phone. Information, said the operator. I would like the number of the North Pole, please, said Grandma. The 4th of July picnic was a huge success. Everyone had lemonade and ice cream and sparkle plenties. Right in the middle of the fireworks, the mailman came. Special delivery for Max, said the mailman. The package was postmarked from the North Pole. Santa had understood Max's letter at last. Well, let's open the package. Oh, what could it be? A big box for Max. Just before bedtime, Max wrote a thank you letter to Santa. And there's his thank you letter. Lots and lots of colors. It looks like candies, maybe, that he's sending as his thank you. The end. All right. Bye-bye.